Hey everybody, today we're going to be making southern fried cabbage on the discata. A discata is basically a wok that's made from a farm plow. Uh, it has a hole in the center where it's mounted, so you have to fill that in and weld some handles on it, season it like a standard wok or cast iron or even carbon steel. More likely like carbon steel, but once you do this, it's a wonderful instrument to cook on. Any stir fry, things of this nature. So today, what we're going to need is some seasoning salt, two teaspoons. I'm using Pappy's, use Lowry's or whatever you like. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And three cloves of minced garlic. One head of cabbage chopped. One large onion chopped. Six slices of bacon chopped. And a beautiful sunny day, which I have not seen in quite some time. So basically right here, I'm just setting up the uh, Big Joe Kamado. All right, it's all set up and we just gotta wait for the charcoals to get hot enough to cook on. All right, screaming hot and ready to go. Actually, it's a little too hot, but we'll make it work. Please ignore my pool in the background. It's on a timer and decided to come on while I'm cooking. First thing we're going to put down is going to be the six slices of bacon. Put just a little bit of oil because, of course, the bacon's got plenty. So in a minute or two, it's going to have plenty of oil to cook in. See? Just a big wok. If anybody's interested, this tool I'm using, the Chinese stir-fry tool, I just got at an international market a couple pounds away. Amazon also sells them if you're interested. This thing's ripping hot, so I've got to constantly keep this moving so it doesn't cook too fast and burn it, which is kind of being a little bit of a chore right now because this is actually too hot. Plenty of oil came out of the bacon, also known as bacon grease. off the wok so we can cook our next ingredient. 
which is going to be the onions. Sometimes the last little bits can be a pain. Just doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, that was hot. Okay, just keep them stirring around until they are cooked and translucent. Now we're going to add the garlic. I know this kind of looks burnt, but it's not. It's just charred a little bit. It's not a burnt flavor at all, trust me. It's just crispy. Cabbage going in. Sometimes you just gotta use your hands. I don't know about y'all, but I do enjoy some nice wind chimes. They're very relaxing to me. Except for the motorcycles racing in the background.
Okay, it's time to start adding the seasonings. So first up is going to be the seasoning salt. Of your choice, of course. Um, seasoning salt. Hello? Mr. Q. You're late. Hurry up. There we go. There we go. Seasoning salt. Pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Or maybe it was onion. Either way. And just give it a good stir to incorporate everything together. Alright, it's time to add the cooked bacon back into it and give everything a good stir to combine and heat everything through. Alright, once everything is mixed through and heated up, go ahead and remove it from the uh, discotta so it stops cooking. Look at that. Looks good, huh? The nice thing about recipes like this is they don't use sweet sauces or anything like that. They're a savory meal. Um, you know, and it, it's really good for people that are diabetics or on a low carb diet. All right, let's head upstairs and see what this tastes like. All right, let's give this a try and see what we have. Oh yeah, very good. Still has a crispy taste to it. Savory, very good, thumbs up. Please, y'all give this a try because it's really good, and let me know in the comments below. See y'all at the next video. Because right now I gotta have some more of this. See y'all later. Bye-bye. As always, thank you for watching my video. And please, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's greatly appreciated.